back students to one more session of your electrophilic substitution reactions of benzene right in the previous video we have seen <coughs> the halogenation reaction of benzene now we'll be proceeding to the next concept that is nitration right. so what actually is nitration nitration is something simple it is you're going to introduce introduction of no2 group right so this no2 group is electrophile here so what is it going to do it we're introducing the this no2 that is your nitro group no2 is nitro group in whose place in place of in place of hydrogen atom right hydrogen atom and benzene so introduction of nitro group in the place of hydrogen atom and benzene is called nitration and this is the definition of this so when i have to start with the reaction first of all whenever you're doing doing nitration process we are going to first take benzene along with this we are going to introduce an important thing that is nitrating mixture so this is the main important thing so for nitration what do you require you require nitrating mixture this nitrating mixture consists of what it's going to contain two acids that is concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid so this is in the presence of nitrogen mixture only nitration occurs so uh, i said we are going to take benzene along with that i am going to add two mixtures that is nitric acid nitric acid hno3 i think i can write it as hono2 this see here hno3 now this is treated in presence of sulfuric acid what is the temperature 40 degrees centigrade first initially when i take this benzene hydrogen is here isn't it everywhere c6 h6 so this hydrogen and this oh comes out as water and this no2 goes and attacks nitrogen uh, benzene and it forms no2 what is the name of this compound this is your benzene and this is nitrobenzene so nitro benzene done yes <coughs> so <coughs> this is at 40 degrees suppose if you increase the temperature above 40 degrees let us take this as step one let us take this as step two the same benzene i'm going to take same benzene i'm going to introduce two moles of this nitric acid and just one more sulfuric acid one more, one more nitrating mixture now from 40 degrees i'm increasing the temperature to 80 degrees then what happens as usual there is hydrogen here for one water molecule so for one nitric acid we have got one water molecule out for so two nitric acids again the same thing how what happens i can write this nitric acid as ho in o2 but how many are there two are there isn't it see here one hydrogen from here and one more oh right so that's the first one one more hydrogen from here one more oh so basically this is one more hydrogen so this hydrogen and this oh this hydrogen this oh comes out so how many are we getting out two water molecules are getting it out then no2 is there isn't it so one no2 remember it attacks at the ortho position and one more no2 attacks at the meta position so nitrobenzene nitro group is always meta directing in nature so we get meta dinitro benzene okay right so remember at 40 degrees you're going to get nitrobenzene at 80 degrees you're going to get meta dinitro benzene remember so even like even if sulfuric acid is not there nitration takes place but you require a lot of high temperature for doing this so sulfuric acid here what is its role it acts as a catalyst so let us write that so the role of h2so4 in nitration so if your teacher is asking you for one mark question just simple H sulfuric acid here acts as a catalyst it speeds up the reaction and what else does it do it's going to generate it generates no2 plus this is electrophile isn't it now what does it do no2 plus by interacting with hno3 so i'll be showing you the mechanism in a um, few seconds then you can understand that interacting with hno3 okay right this is the role of hno3 now let's come back and see the mechanism of nitration so when i have to study the mechanism of nitration let's write the heading first 
so mechanism of nitration <coughs> nitration so what what did we say we require nitrating mixture isn't it right first of all let us take the step one part so first important thing nitric acid so that is your nitric acid hno3 and and this is nitric acid isn't it let's go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 for this oxygen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is nitric acid this combines with sulfuric acid this is an reversible reaction so what happens in the first step is carefully observe <coughs> sulfuric acid this but the sulfuric acid it breaks up into h plus and hso4 minus okay and once again sulfuric acid this breaks up into h plus and hso4 minus so this h plus attacks this oxygen what do you get then hydrogen oxygen one hydrogen here nitrogen there is one more oxygen double bond o so the bond is shade so this oxygen gets plus because this lone pair is shade by this hydrogen isn't it so shall we write that r and yeah so this has got plus now plus hso4 minus hso4 minus done now here what is it doing it is accepting a proton isn't it this is accepting nitric acid is accepting a proton so this is called it acts as lewis base and when this is lewis base this automatically is a lewis acid done now in second step what happens is this hso4 minus it combines with water no it is not water it is hydronium ion okay now hydronium ions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 plus right <coughs> this occurs in the presence of sulfuric acid now what is this this basically this one is bisulfate this is bisulfate this is hydronium ion acidic medium we said isn't it bisulfate hydronium ion so they together combine when they combine what will happen uh, let's see first of all did we, did we leave one step i think we have left one step let's come back and see <coughs> here in this step okay i'm sorry i think i forgot one step here let's see this this has got positive charge isn't it fine here right so there is a cleavage of this bond there's a cleavage of this bond i get water molecule perfect now it's right and once this is broken what is left out you are left out with nitrogen double bond oxygen yes plus done yes now what is this ion this is called nitronium ion this nitronium ion when you are further treating with sulfuric acid same thing with sulfuric acid <coughs> what happens it breaks up into same thing HSO4 minus it's all no sulfuric acid how does it break it breaks up into H plus and HSO4 minus so nitronium ion is out this water molecule combines with this H plus forming H3O plus and which is a 4 minus is out hope this is clear students right yeah. now this no2 plus this acts as an electrophile hope this step is clear in the step one <coughs> sulfuric acid breaks up into h plus and hs of minus this being a lewis base it gets or it, uh, um, this acts as a lewis acid it accepts a uh, electron from a lewis base and you get this right so further what happens this uh, which which a complex which is formed <clears throat> because oxygen is attained a positive charge this is a cleavage of the bond here i get that and no2 plus electrophile is generated 
Now, this H2O combined in the presence of sulfuric acid forms hydronium ion and bisulfate is released out. So, this is a nitronium ion. So, nitronium ion, it acts in electrophile as I said, yes. So, a carbocation which ceases to be aromatic is produced in intermediate. Now, by the release of H plus ions from the carbon, you know, NO2, let, let's see how is it going to attack the benzene ring now. Right, so when I have to take further take this NO2 plus, just see, now this is your benzene first, then the nitronium ion which we got NO2 plus is out. Now, first step, shift of pi bonds, then what do you get when you shift the pi bonds here, this is going to attain a positive charge because this bond has shifted, you have Pi bonds here and hydrogen and NO2. Right? Okay. Let us not write this because I'll be showing in a continuous step. Now there is a positive charge. This is going to shift in this direction. This is in resonance with more. Your hydrogen and nitrogen are here only. From here the bond has shifted here and now this becomes plus. Further This bond shifts in this direction, the, this becomes electron deficient now. This is plus H NO2. Done. So, what is uh, now? This is the, uh, where you can pick from any point here also, and one more you can shift. You can shift this. Fine. So, further, when this is uh, treated. Let us take this. When this is treated with HSO4 minus, we have got HSO4 minus now. Just see here in the previous video, I'm sorry, in the previous uh, page, I'm sorry, not the video. In the previous page, we have got HSO4 minus here. This HSO4 minus, when it's treated or with water, okay. Now H plus is removed out, right? So now what happens? Same way. This particular thing if you shift in this direction this drops out okay and this drops out drops here or when you take this it drops in this way also not a problem drops in this way you get a bond here so what will happen you get no 2 which is there and benzene and what is left HSO4 plus H plus gives me H2SO4 so this is your nitrobenzene right done so, so this is the mechanism of nitrobenzene students so, <clears throat> you can take any intermediate carbocation and show the mechanism thank you for watching students i'll meet you again with sulfonation mechanism and reaction